On this final episode of our Memphis Zoo series, you'll get to meet the Bonobo family, the giant panda, African elephant, grand zebra, reticulated giraffe, and many others. Hey, how y'all doing? They're from uh, welcome. And, and, and this, this is Memphis, Tennessee. The Memphis Zoo. Subscribe to Ernesto's YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> you made it! He's going on a trip around the country, all 50 states. Well, welcome. Hello to my mom, Consuelo Paras, to my dad, Ernesto Paras Sr., and to my late grandmother, Maximina Pazawaran. Happy New Year to 2021. Enjoy Bye -bye. this Memphis Zoo vlog. Memphis Zoo. This is Memphis Zoo. This is Bonobos. Meet our Bonobo family. Mobali, Kiri, Lily, Lisala, Hilda, Empingo, and Makumba. Did you know that there's a lot in common between bonobos and humans? Bonobos share 98.4% of human DNA. While the differences between man and ape are many, bonobos often walk upright on two legs, make human-like faces, and use tools just like humans. These friendly apes also mate face to face, the only primates to do this other than man. There is one big difference between humans and bonobos. In bonobos society, the females always rule. It's sad that bonobos are so rare. It's because of two reasons, the bushmeat crisis and the habitat destruction. In bushmeat crisis, bonobos are killed for the illegal bushmeat trade. In habitat destruction, logging is when they bulldoze thousands of trees in African forests. This logging really destroys the bonobos' home. So sad. This is now guys, the China exhibit. China exhibit here in the Memphis Zoo. We're now here in the central zone of the Memphis Zoo. Here in China exhibit, opened in April 2003, this $16 million exhibit is a zoogeographical area that Memphis Zoo constructed after it became only one of the four U.S. zoos to exhibit the giant panda. Upon entering China, the two sides of the courtyard are bordered with logias, open galleries with decorative columns supporting bright southern-style Chinese glazed tile roofs. Remembering Thomas Boggs, 1944-2008 Thomas Boggs was an American musician playing with the box tops and restaurateur in Memphis, Tennessee. He was born in Wine, Arkansas and died in Memphis, Tennessee in 2008. Area, you will see red breasted goose, Branta ruficollis, and also bar headed goose, Ansi indicus. And over here are red crested pochard, Neta rufina, and smew, Mergus albelus. And right over here are hotento tail, Spatula hotentota, and also white faced whistling duck, Dendrosigna vidwata. Sulawesi crested black macaque. Macaca nigra. Sulawesi macaques are critically endangered and their population has been in sharp decline. This 
there you guys, you can see a couple of pandas. One giant panda, and the other one is another kind of panda. Giant panda, Ailuropoda melanoleuca. The giant panda is one of the most recognized animals in the world and a symbol for conservation. Giant pandas once lived in many parts of China and beyond but have been pushed into marginal mountain habitats by encroaching civilization. Only three zoos in the U.S. house giant pandas, the Memphis Zoo, Zoo Atlanta, and Smithsonian's National Zoo. Yeah, this panda is hungry. Yeah, yeah, he's eating his supper maybe. Or lunch. He's munching his lunch. The Memphis Zoo is home to one male Lele and one female Yaya pandas. Giant pandas are a smaller species of the bear family, males only weighing up to 275 pounds and females up to 220 pounds. These animals have very unique coloring. They are white with black ears, eyes, legs, and shoulders. Pandas eat almost totally bamboo and can eat up to 80 pounds per day. Sometimes they will scavenge meat and occasionally eat fruit. With many factors endangering the habitats of pandas, they are found mainly in small reserves in western China. The front paws of a giant panda are very different from other bears due to a special bone found in their wrists. Their sixth toe, an opposable thumb, is used for grasping bamboo. They use this bone in the same way humans use their thumbs, mainly for grasping food. Giant pandas have lived on Earth for 2 to 3 million years. I remember when I visited Hong Kong twice when I was in high school, I've seen this Kowloon Panda Hotel building. We planned to stay there before but just didn't happen. Teminix Tragopan, Paisanes Tragopanes Temineki. A Tragopan is a type of pheasant with two fleshy horns. Red billed blue mopai, Uraka Azul de Pico Roho. They like raiding nests of another bird. Francois Langour, Trachipithecus Francoisi. This Asian native monkey was named after the French consul in China who discovered the species. These unique animals are known for their distinct facial markings. Their faces are completely black except for the two white strip of fur along both mandibles from mouth to ears. The hair on the top of their heads also very much resembles a mohawk. Signs in the zoo show a lot of information about giant panda nutrition, improving reproduction of giant pandas, as well as saving giant pandas habitat, and also on how you could support wildlife conservation. Let's see what's inside of the gift shop here in Memphis Zoo. This is what we call the bamboo shop. Lots of pandas. Maybe this is their gift shop. Lots of cool stuffs. Yeah, so are the red pandas they're not there all the time? Um they're they're here all the time. They're just sometimes hard to see. Oh okay. yeah. Maybe, mm -hmm. They're probably just stealthy sometimes. They kinda hide sometimes. Mm -hmm. They like to hide, yes. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm buying one of the these magnets. I'm buying one. So now let's go and proceed to the African belt. African elephant, Loxodonta africana. This is the largest living land animal and grows throughout life. The biggest animal in the herd is usually the oldest. 
Elephants live in a complex social herd dominated by a matriarch, usually the eldest female. She may lead for over 50 years, teaching the others her secrets of survival. Did you know that the ear of an African elephant is the same as African map, and the ear of an Asian elephant is the same as India map? The names of the elephants here are Gina, there's also a Sally, Bambi, and Daisy. Simitar Horned Oryx Oryx Dama Named for its long curving horns that resemble a sword called a scimitar, the scimitar horned oryx was once widespread along the borders of the Sahara Desert. Grant's Gazelle Gazella Granti Grant's gazelles spend most of their time eating herbs, shrubs, foliage, short grasses, and shoots. The Grand Zebra is one of the most recognizable of the African hoopstock. No two zebras are marked exactly the same and stripe patterns vary from species to species. Family members recognize each other by stripe patterns, voice, and scents. Zebras gather in large herds during migration to new grazing areas. Reticulated Giraffe Giraffa camelopardalis reticulta a giraffe is not a silent giant. It can bleat, bellow, grunt, whistle, moo, snort, cough, growl, and snore. A giraffe leads a peaceful life, running with the herd and dining on treetops. Despite its imposing size, the giraffe is ever vigilant to danger. It prefers flight to fight. A lion that foolishly attacks this giant or its young faces bone-crushing kicks. like each one of them has its own room have you seen a giraffe giving birth pay attention largest river in Africa. Nile Crocodile Crocodilus niloticus Big and dangerous, Nile crocodiles, the largest crocodilian species in Africa, can grow to 16 feet and weigh over 1,000 pounds. Crocs are apex predators in their environment. <laughs> It's almost 5 o'clock and zookeepers are now cleaning up surroundings prior to their closing time. Flamingos use mud, stones, and sticks to build 12-inch high nests to protect their young from flooding. Also, in flamingo nesting, usually one large egg is laid. Both males and females take turns incubating the egg for about 30 days until it hatches. Spot nose Genon, Cercopithecus petaurista. These Genons are native to the rainforests of West Africa and best known for their white nose spot. It also means springiest tailed monkey and uses their tails for balance. I really had a great time, one of the best zoos I've seen, and thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you on my next video. Keep safe, wear your mask, and sanitize your hands, and keep six feet away of distance from every person. Bye! The Mulan Restaurant here in Memphis, Tennessee by Cooper and Young Street for my late lunch. The Crazy Noodle Korean Restaurant Eat my supper. Mega shout out to Team Premier and also to my family. Mike and Judith of Las Vegas and Nanny's World of Joby. Thank you for supporting my two new channel members, Our Mindori Journey and Kong Youngs. My other members, Kentus Blog, Chia Adventure, Bikoi Blog, and Yolo Amore. Thank you also to all my past super chatters and past members. Thank you for all your support.